Namaskar. This is Harish. The two strong beliefs uh, I would follow is one, what we give is what we get or how we see the world the same way the world looks at us. If we throw a smile to the person in front of us, he smiles better than us. Of course, smile has to be wholehearted. Second, whatever happens, happens for good. What is going to happen is for good. By believing so, lot of difficult situations look so easy to resolve. In challenging situations, I would think there should be something good is expected and find a proper solution. My experience is that most of the time, the challenging situations have become advantageous and it has helped me in both career and socially. Few principles I like to follow. Number uh, one, so resources are precious. Let me not waste. Things may not, things may look simple. Just a glass of drinking water. There are thousands of hand working on it. So we can't waste even a drop of water. So then how about other raw materials? Principle two, uh, life is complex as is. Let's make it simple. This is easier said than done. Striving hard to be simple. To me, being is simple is not having a acquiring attitude, comparing to others, uh, not getting affected for what others say. The more I think of this, the more complex it is. So can't say much about it. Principle three, respond instead of react. Reacting is instinctive. Responding is conscious. Try to avoid reacting to situation. I would like to respond for the same. Meaning reacting immediately to a situation for both joy and sorrow. I may be emotional for the same situation. If I wait for a while to take a logical decision, we can avoid most difficult or dangerous situations. Doing so, I may look little slow to the world. Yes, I am. Fourth, to use we in place of I. Who am I? Within me, we have a lot of other contributors like our parents, elders, gurus, and so on. So it's not me, it's us. Number five, to see positives only. I would like to see only positive side of any person or the situation without prejudice. That makes me a lot easier to be with anyone and anywhere with full of happiness and joy. Number six, work with honesty or shraddha without thinking of the immediate result. Doing what we believe wholeheartedly with good intentions, not looking at the results, what we get out of this will reap the highest benefits. This would take us beyond our imaginative boundaries. Most of the times, the in this materialistic world, the immediate results of being honest and truthful fetches very small incentive. But that's only the foundation upon which the great structure stands upon. There is no shortcut in life to achieve the guilt-free real happiness. Number seven, to be in present. Live for the moment. Past is an experience to take decisions and future is fruit of what we do at present. This moment is very important. Being in past, we lose today's glory and worrying for future spoils the present. Let's leave for the present and do things honestly. Future is bound to be good. Number eight, respect in the person and their belief system. Respect in the person not looking at the economical status. Whatever the trivial job he has undertaken, if he's doing it honestly, he should be dealt with utmost respect. Every creation is unique and important. Everything in this world is there for a reason, but he knows what it is. Everyone would have developed their own belief system as we have developed ours. So let's respect that. Finally, I would conclude saying I want honestly to become a humble, simple and honest human. Let my final ambition be ultimate goal of reaching the ultimate power.